Hello. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, okay, so the next presenter is somebody that you were introduced to yesterday, Alexander Zawada. Uh, unfortunately, though, there was a misprint on the schedule. It says that he's talking about uh, electron beam welding, but unfortunately, that is a lie. Uh, he's talking today about a helium leak detector, a uh, method to find leaks in vacuum systems. Um, on another note, if you want to give a lightning talk tomorrow, um, there's not really a formal procedure. Please just show up and um, the first person in the room to say, I'm the first person in the room is going to give the first lightning talk. <laughs> uh, that's kind of a joke, but also kind of real. So without further ado, here's Alexander Zawada. Thanks for presentation, for introduction. Uh, I will uh, tell about uh, leak detector detection in vacuum apparature. Short outline. Uh, the first about leaks in vacuum apparature. The next something about historical methods of leak detection. Uh, the next about leak detection using alcohol or acetone. Leak detection using argon uh, and uh, helium leak detector. Uh, the first, I should um, tell something about holes in vacuum apparatus. Um, we have two kinds of holes. It uh, could be real leaks. It, uh, for example, it, it could be broken junction in uh, vacuum equipment, uh, broken gaskets, uh, etc. And we have uh, apparent leaks, uh, diffusion, desorption, and outgassing without parts in vacuum. Uh, it's not doesn't matter um, uh, what kind of uh, leaks we have, but the effect is the same. We have worse vacuum and uh, the highest uh, ultimate pressure inside apparature. And uh, usually we have to fight with it. And uh, if we must fight with uh, apparent leaks, we uh, should have uh, clean apparature, uh, clean parts. Uh, we, we call something about, uh, sometimes about uh, vacuum hygiene. Uh, and if we have real leaks, uh, we should detect uh, where is it, uh, how big the hole uh, is there. About leak units, a uh, very popular unit is torr liter, uh, liter per second or millibar uh, liter per second. Uh, and a uh, short example, if we have chamber uh, with volume one liter and inside is pressure 10 to the power minus 10 torr, uh, uh, and uh, it's almost empty. And with, uh, if you, uh, we add inside one small air bubble uh, with diameter one millimeter, uh, and inside this bubble, uh, the pressure of air is uh, atmospheric pressure, uh, then volume of, of this bubble is circa four uh, cubic millimeters, and uh, quantity of uh, gas is volume multiplied pressure inside, and uh, we can calculate very shortly, then after dosing this small little bubble, uh, the pressure will be higher and it will be uh, 3 multiplied 10 to the power minus 3 torr. And it's very, uh, we are very worried because it's uh, almost uh, 3 million, uh, 3 times uh, worse uh, than before adding air inside. Uh, about historical methods of leak detection. Um, very old method uh, was uh, using soap solution in water and uh, we could paint uh, part of uh, vacuum system. Inside vacuum system the pressure should be higher than atmospheric pressure and we can observe um, small bubbles of uh, air 
from um, uh, from a leak uh, place. Uh, this method uh, has very low sensitivity. It's uh, only 10 to the power minus 4 millibar liter per second. Uh, sometimes it's used for looking for holes in um, pressure apparature. Uh, in vacuum apparature, uh, this method is rather uh, lost. Uh, another method. Um, we can uh, use uh, a solution uh, eosin, uh, and uh, it was very popular method in uh, USSR. Um, and uh, 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 leakage part uh, was um, coated by uh, liquid. Uh, uh, it was solution eosin in, an, in ethyl alcohol. And during penetration uh, solution to the uh, tested part, uh, uh, we, uh, we can observe uh, spots, red spots inside apparature. Uh, in this method, the pressure should be lower than atmospheric pressure inside uh, tested apparature. The sensitivity is uh, similar as uh, a method with uh, soap uh, solution. Uh, other method, uh, by using chloride lamp. Uh, if you have Bunsen torch and uh, you have uh, some substance uh, with uh, chloride, for example, uh, metal chloride or uh, chloroethylene, uh, it could be used uh, with air as testing gas. Inside uh, the apparature, the pressure should be uh, higher uh, than atmospheric pressure. And uh, as detector is uh, used uh, Bunsen torch, and inside torch is a small copper plate. Um, you must pump a probe of a sample of air from apparature to the, uh, to the uh, torch. And um, if uh, you have a lake um, place, you can observe a, a green uh, color inside, uh, inside torch. Sensitivity is um, uh, higher than uh, uh, last method, and it's 10 to the power minus 5, milli, five millibar uh, liter per second. Uh, in glass apparature, a uh, very popular method uh, is um, testing of uh, uh, lake is observing discharged inside this apparature. Um, and uh, we, uh, we create uh, discharges by Tesla or Ramkorf coil. And uh, sensitivity of this method is 10 to the power minus 5, 10 to the power, power minus 6 millibar liter per second. If we have a uh, uh, lake, then uh, color uh, is violet, color of discharge is violet. Uh, the pressure inside the apparatus should be 40 uh, to 10 to the power minus 3 tor. Uh, below it, uh, we have darkness inside and we can't observe uh, anything. Uh, other methods. Uh, by ionic vacuum gauge with uh, palladium barrier. Palladium is um, kind of metal uh, which uh, um, in, in, inside this metal um, is possible diffusion of hydrogen um, um, by, by this metal. That's why if we hit a um, plate of palladium and we use uh, hydrogen as testing gas, you can ob uh, we can observe um, um, uh, higher and higher pressure uh, during uh, t testing uh, apparatus with, uh, with lake inside. Sensitivity is 10 to the power minus 7 millibar liter per second, uh, no more. Uh, it's a danger method because of uh, risk of explosion. explosion. Uh, another method it, uh, was uh, using differential vacuum meters. 
uh, there were uh, two the same um, gauges. It could be Pirani gauge, uh, ionic gauge, uh, connected to the tested system. Uh, but in the way uh, to one of uh, this um, gauge, uh, we have a liquid nitrogen trap. And if we use uh, as testing gas propan butan or alcohol, ethyl alcohol, uh, it's trapped in uh, this uh, trap. That's why we have different uh, pressure uh, in uh, one of uh, gauge and we can detect um, uh, leak. Sensitivity is circa 10 to the power minus 8 millibar liter per second, but uh, it's hard to, to use because of uh, we need liquid nitrogen, and uh, usually we haven't it. Very popular method uh, is uh, leak detection using alcohol or acetone. I'm sure that you, are, you like alcohol. I like too because uh, it's very easy to detect um, holes um, due to uh, this substance. And uh, 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 there is one condition. In vacuum system, we need pressure better than 10, 10 to the power minus, minus 3 torr. And uh, it's necessary to have inside uh, Bayard, Al Bayard Alpert vacuum gauge uh, and uh, rather big holes could be detected by this uh, method. Um, what is characteristics? Um, during uh, testing, the at the first moment, if we, if we touch um, leak place, uh, the first we have uh, better vacuum because alcohol stick uh, hole, uh, but uh, after this, uh, alcohol penetrated uh, into inside uh, apparature, and uh, vacuum will be uh, worst and worst, and it could be even one uh, thousand times um, worst than after touching by alcohol. Uh, as testing liquid could be used uh, acetone, ethyl alcohol, uh, ethyl acetate, and uh, similar substances. Um, little, uh, very um, hard method, but uh, uh, very well if, uh, if we um, are not going to vent our system and we have very high um, vacuum inside is leak detection using argon. If uh, in the system, vacuum system we have ion sputtering pump, uh, we can detect uh, leaks by um, uh, using argon. Uh, argon is noble gas and it's very hard to pump uh, by ionic pump. Uh, that's why when we um, uh, test um, uh, leak, uh, by this gas, we can observe uh, growth of ion pump current. Uh, I remember in 2008, uh, in our apparature, uh, we uh, wait two weeks for vacuum, and we had 10 to the power, power nine, uh, minus 9 tor. And uh, we should have 10 to the power, power minus 10 tor. And it uh, was a problem. Uh, is there hole or not? And one uh, old professor told, don't worry, uh, take me a bottle of argon and uh, we start find it. And uh, he had, uh, uh, he, uh, he uh, told uh, true. Uh, after 15 minutes, he found hole uh, because he observed uh, it, it was very, very hard to observe, but uh, uh, ion current uh, was uh, growth. I, I don't remember uh, about value, but maybe it was one uh, microamp, uh, ten, ten, oh, 10 microamps growth. 
Leak detection using helium leak detector is a very popular technique, and it was started uh, after, uh, during Manhattan Project um, in uh, the installation uh, uh, for produ producing hexafluoride uh, of uranium. Um, they had a problem with uh, uh, leak detection, and uh, there were used uh, helium leak detector with dumpster uh, spectrometer. Uh, um, very, um, very good uh, parameter of this method is high sensitivity. It's even 10 to the power minus uh, 12 millibar per liter, uh, uh, millibar liter per second. Uh, my friend uh, yesterday um, explained uh, uh, dumpster spectrometer, um, and uh, I changed uh, turbo molecular pump from uh, uh, um, uh, from uh, 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 due to uh, organi uh, organizer uh, ASHM, and uh, uh, I uh, changed it uh, in Poland uh, uh, for very old uh, mass spectrometer, Russian mass spectrometer, uh, dumpster type, uh, and I connected to um, uh, connected it to uh, uh, turbo molecular pump, and. Uh, I built electronic cir uh, circuit includes stabilizer of electron current, uh, current in ion source, electrometer, acoustic generator voltage control uh, for, de uh, for detection um, of a lake, power supply and vacuum gauges with system for safety starting filam filament of cathode because if uh, we have to low vacuum, uh, it's possible to destroy cathode. Uh, so far, I haven't any shield for, for this device, and uh, everything is uh, in the floor. Uh, and uh, electronics, or uh, everything is uh, analog. Uh, I hate programming, that's why I decided to do everything <laughs> Uh, by uh, analog technique. Uh, and uh, with, if we test a um, very big uh, object and uh, there is a very big hole, uh, sometimes it's impossible to connect um, this object to the helium leak detector, and uh, then it's necessary to use to use leak valve and um, additional uh, for a vacuum pump, and only part of stream of gas is um, uh, goes to the uh, to, to the uh, helium leak detector. Uh, okay, I have a short video. Okay. Uh, helium is um, uh, stream uh, of helium is from uh, capillar. Uh, the pressure inside uh, helium leak detector was uh, 10 to the power minus 4 tor, and uh, and uh, I start detect uh, leak in chamber for um, EB welder. Unfortunately, I haven't a voice from this computer uh, in, 
in here. I don't know why. Uh, and uh, there is a um, uh, micro amp meter, uh, and we can observe uh, leakage, but I don't know if it will be uh, up here. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's uh, covered by this part. Um, maybe if, uh, if you are interested in after this presentation, I could uh, present uh, uh, somebody it. And I would like to thank those who throw out parts of vacuum systems because due to my life is easier. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Alex, uh, for your presentation. Does anyone have any uh, additional questions for Alex? If you uh, count uh, helium uh, leak out, uh, even if there isn't any, any hole, like in a uh, thin balloon, uh, the gas can leak out uh, even if there isn't. Uh, you ask me about sensitivity. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, 100 times worse than a commercial uh, helium leaks detector. But uh, uh, exploitation of this device isn't such easy uh, as uh, uh, commercial uh, device. Uh, 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 the, uh, if you put uh, uh, the, the, the apparatus underneath uh, water, can't you detect uh, bubbles? Uh, I don't understand well. Uh, uh, no more questions. Thank you. Does anybody else have a question? Going once, going twice. Oh, okay. Um, you m mentioned on one slide about using uh, acetone and ethanol, yes. that when you use it on a leak, it, uh, first it gets better and then it gets up to a thousand times worse. Yes. What gets worse? The leak af from using uh, the alcohol? After penetration, this substance uh, inside apparature, you have very big evaporation and um, cutting uh, molecules on the hot cathode. That's why from one mole, uh, for example, alcohol, you have a lot of uh, moles uh, other gas gases inside. So you, a little bit comes in and then a little becomes a lot from it, period. But why does it become better at first? Uh, at first, because uh, alcohol stick, uh, stick hole and uh, you haven't ah. air inside. Got it. Uh, due to viscosity uh, of alcohol. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you.